Hey everybody, it's Professor Parrish, and I am going to be posting the week one lecture video with you all. So if you've not watched the introduction to the course video yet, um, there's going to be a link on it on our main page. Make sure you watch it first. But in that video, I told you that I was doing weekly lecture videos, and so this will be week one's lecture video. It's not going to be long, it's just going to be telling you all what's due each week in the class and showing you where those assignments are. So I'm going to minimize myself right here. All right, so that I'm, I'm back here on the side. Here I am. <laughs> um, and I'm going to show you where our assignments for week one are. So if you're on our homepage right here, um, go to this assignments link. And on the assignments link, you will notice that for week one that starts June 8th, um, basically each week we have assignments due on Friday and Sunday. Now that means that you can turn in these assignments as early as Monday, you can work on them throughout the week. As long as they are turned in by Friday and Sunday at 11.55 p.m., then you will get full credit if you, you know you get 100 on the assignment. So um, we usually the only thing due on Fridays is the discussion forum post. And I make it due on Friday because that gives you time over the weekend to respond to your peers. Um, I've had a lot of students in the past say, well, why can't everything be due Sunday? Well, <laughs> because then everybody's scrambling around Sunday trying to respond to everybody and it's chaotic. I did it one semester. It was not good. The students hated it. They were like, never mind, bad idea. <laughs> so the posts are due by Friday. You can post them earlier than that, absolutely. And my hope is that some of you do post earlier than Friday because then that means you guys can respond to each other before the weekend and you don't have to wait until Sunday to do it. So week one's discussion forum post is due by this Friday at 11.55 p.m. Normally during the full semester where we have 16 weeks, um, we have more discussion forums. So you only respond to two peers. But since we're in the summer and we're condensing down to eight weeks, you do have to respond to four of your classmates by Sunday, um, do the textbook assignment number one, and then the cause and effect writing prep, which I'll show you each of those. But those are the three assignments due by Sunday. Your responses, your cause and effect writing prep, and your textbook assignment. And the only thing due Friday is your discussion forum post. As far as reading goes in the class, in your English skills textbook, um, chapters one and two, are pages 2 through 32 and 212 to 225. Um, so, oh, chapters 1 and 2, yep, and chapter 10, which is 212 to 225. Uh, chapter 10 is just about cause and effect. So it's shorter. It's a shorter chapter on cause and effect. So if you've never written a cause and effect paper before, um, chapter 10 will be very helpful for that. Um, chapter 1 and 2 is just reviewing the basics. Just the basics of English, of grammar, of structure. It should be a really review chapter. Um, I'm not asking you to do any close readings. Just kind of go through and make sure that there's nothing that's out of the ordinary from what you've probably read. And so here's the three assignments. Um, for me, they show me when they're due and they show links to it. Um, in your case, you'll just see the links to the assignment. So I'll save the discussion forum for last, um, but I want to show you the writing prep and the textbook activity. So in the textbook activity, uh, let me go through here and show you the actual assignment, what it looks like. Um, you do need to read chapter two before you complete the textbook activity because there's going to be some helpful information in that assignment um, for you. But here, let me show you. All right, so on page 32 to 33 in your English skills textbook, um, all this writing assignment is all this textbook activity is, is just going through and answering these questions like, do you typically do any pre-writing, like brainstorming, things like that? Yes, sometimes or no. Um, do you use any of these techniques? I am a list maker, so I would pick that one. Um, and I'm a scratch outliner, so I would do that as well. Um, and our textbook chapter explains what each of these mean. And then the rest of these questions are just your own opinions. They're just how are you as a writer? Um, I want to assign this first textbook activity because I want to know what type of writer are you? Are you someone that brainstorms? Are you somebody that just writes out a draft the day it's due? Um, that will help me determine how this class kind of functions as a group in terms of being a writer. So it should be... Hey, no, that's my dog, by the way. <laughs> my dog Huckleberry will probably be barking during these videos, so just prep yourself for that. <laughs> um, 
but I just want to know how you are as a writer. So that's pretty much all this assignment is. It should be pretty straightforward to complete. Um, I do ask that you've read chapter two, because otherwise some of these answers, you may be like, I don't know what that word means. And it's given to you in chapter two. Nobody. All right. So that's a textbook assignment. Now I want to talk about the writing prep. Uh, the writing prep. No, Huckleberry. The writing prep is for our cause and effect paper. Are you here? He's probably going to want me to throw a ball. So if you see me like throwing something, it's his ball. <laughs> Bring it here. So um, the writing prep is basically going to be this document here. Like I said, he brings me, he brings me a thing to throw. <laughs> so the writing prep basically is going to be um, explaining the guidelines, what is expected of your paper, and how the paper uh, format breaks down. So our first paper is cause and effect. Um, what causes an event and what is the effects of that event? So our textbook gives some examples. There could be a lot of things. For example, a cause and effect paper that's pretty relevant right now is what are the causes of remote learning and what are the effects of it? And you can talk about that. So if you're a high school student or if you just graduated, you very much could know the causes of what's the cause of shelter in place. Obviously, it's more than just COVID-19. You can go into some more detail with that. But then what are the effects of the shelter in place? Like, how does it affect businesses? How does it affect school? How does it affect, you know, your personal life? There's so much you could do with that topic. Um, and that would be a cause and effect topic that would work for this first paper. So what the writing prep is, is I want to know your thesis. So I want to know what your paper is about. And I want a brief, bare bones, skeletal outline. So I kind of want to know just what's your thought process on organizing this type of paper. So if I did a paper about COVID-19, about shelter in place, for example, the shelter in place order that's been in effect in Illinois, my topic would be Illinois shelter in place regulation. That'd be my topic. Um, my outline would be, okay, I have my introduction, point one. Point one might be the cause of the shelter in place would be COVID-19, but I could also talk about the cause being Illinois regulations. You could talk about, you know, geographic locations, like we went into shelter in place in a certain way because of the fact that we are a state with a giant city. You could talk about that. And then what are the effects of this shelter in place? So my points on effects would be, I talk about education, I talk about businesses, I talk about personal life, socialization. Um, I just wanna know what the bare outline of your paper looks like. Obviously, this is not set in stone. Writing is very subjective. It's very work in progress. You can change your points as you go along. But what I want this writing prep assignment to do is to make sure that you're not one of those people that just gets up the day the paper is due and decides to write it. Because as much as we like to say that we do that and are successful, <laughs> chances are it's not a successful strategy. <laughs> Usually people that do that, they don't end up getting a great grade on that paper. And I want us to avoid that. I want us to at least have some prep, some thought process, some brainstorming involved with our papers. Because when, you, when you're in a college class, you have to do that. You can't just sit down the day of and write a paper and know it's going to be an A paper. Some people can get away with that. I will say that, but it doesn't always work out. So I want us to get in a practice of pre-writing, of getting into an outline organizational standpoint. So what your writing prep is going to do is um, basically showing me what your thesis is, what your points are, and I want it to look something like this um, and, have, and just have a... Um, a clear structure that I can see that you are thinking about your paper, even if that structure changes when you get to the actual draft. So that's the writing prep. You can just, in your assignment, copy and paste this little outline here and fill in the blanks. You can add more points if you want. You can add more subpoints. Um, I put work in progress by conclusion because usually students, usually as writers, we don't have the conclusion ready when we're first starting out the paper. I have had some friends that do write the conclusion first, which for me is weird, but some of them like it. So um, if that's you, cool. But if you have no clue how you're going to end your paper yet, you can just put work in progress. But I do want to have an idea that you know what you're doing for your paper.
paper um, at the time. So that that's the first writing prep. And I will give you guys feedback on these assignments if something seems like it's missing for this first one. I'm not going to grade incredibly hard on it. I'm more interested in knowing that you, you understand what the assignment is um, and how it works. Uh, as far as the guidelines for the cause and effect paper go, um, three full pages is what I'm looking for. Just three solid pages. Um, that's your goal. Um, it can go beyond that, but that's the minimum. Um, if you want to use resources, you can. Um, I'm not going to grade on citation yet. We'll talk about that in the weeks to come. But um, but I'm just mainly looking at your structure for this first paper and that you know to follow the theme of the paper, in this case being cause and effect. And our textbook does give some good examples of this as well. So you can kind of see, um, based on chapter 10, pages 212 to 225, which give us some good examples of cause and effect. Um, I just want your writing prep to show me your topic, the purpose of your paper, and an outline that's kind of a work in progress to show your points. All right, and so the final assignment is our discussion forum, which you can find in this discussion forum link right here. Um, the discussion forum in week one, week one simple, we're just introducing ourselves. I actually really like this week one because I like getting to know you all, um, what your goals are, what your major is, what you're interested in. I really like it, and I think it's cool that we get to kind of break the ice and talk to one another um, through this forum. So you can tell here, this is how I break down the points. Drop. This is how I break down the points uh, each week for the assignment. Your initial post is due Friday at 11:55. It's worth 20 points. So if you post by 11:55 and you don't have grammar errors and it answers all the questions that are required, you'll get those 20 points. Um, by Sunday, you need to have four responses to your peers. Again, um, grammar errors will result in a loss of points. And, um, and, I, and try to, I don't like giving word counts on these assignments because I feel like if I tell you 500 words, you're gonna give me 500 words and nothing beyond that. <laughs> cause I know I, I've been a college student. I've had that mindset. Cause I'm like, I just gotta get this done, do my 500 words and move on. No, I'm not giving you a word count. What I want is for you to answer the question substantially. Um, in your replies, don't just say I agree and that's it. Because if you were in class having a discussion with your peers and your peer just said something really cool, would you turn to them and be like, I agree. And that's all you say. <laughs> um, you'd probably say, oh yeah, I think the same thing. Or I agree with you about this point. Or you'd at least add something beyond I agree, you know. So since we're online, it shouldn't be any different. Um, you can do replies that at least acknowledge what you agree with or if you don't agree that's cool too we don't all have to agree but if you don't agree you can say well that's neat that you think that i think this and then explain your view too um so that's how you get the extra 20 points so 20 points is going to be your post and then the other 20 points are going to be your peer responses there are four required each are worth five points a piece um, so if you only respond to three peers, you're only getting 15 of those 20 points max. And then uh, finally, if for some reason you can't post by Friday, I get it. But if you post Saturday or Sunday, I'll accept it, but I'm going to deduct 10 points off that original 20. So you're going to get half knocked off that first 20 points if you post Friday, Saturday or Sunday. Obviously still post Saturday or Sunday because 10 points is better than nothing, right? But just um, if you see that loss of points, you'll know why. And then I do not accept posts after Sunday of each week. So if you post in the forum a week later, I'll look at it, but I'm not going to give you any points on it. Once that day due date has passed, we're done. We're moving on to the next assignment. So for this week one, you are just introducing yourself. Like, why are you at SIC? What's your major? What career goals do you have? Um, what is your strength as a writer? And yes, you have to put something down. Everybody has at least one strength as a writer. I refuse to accept otherwise, or you would not be in this class. Um, maybe you're great at writing introductions. Maybe you're really good at finding a citation or quoting someone. Maybe you can write a phenomenal conclusion. Maybe you're really good at organizing your thoughts. There's something you do as a writer that is of value. And I think that that's cool that we get to 
tell each other about it. And I'll respond to these discussion forums too. Um, I don't guarantee that I'll respond to each and every post every week, but I will definitely read everyone's posts and I will definitely respond each week with my post with a post of my own. Um, and then finally, explain what you hope this class will help you to do in terms of becoming a better writer. How will this class help you um, accomplish that? So, and yes, I am excited to see your posts and replies. So how do I add a post, you ask? All you do in adding a post is you click Add Post. This box will pop up. Um, you can click your subject handling, so I can say week one here. And then you will type out your answers to the questions and you'll click Submit. If you wanna see what the post will look like before you submit, you can click Preview here and then click Submit. So um, that's how you just do a post in the discussion forum. When somebody's posted, you just click reply and you reply to their post. Um, if you're somebody that worries about timing out, because sometimes the discussion forum posts can time out if you spend too long typing them, I would recommend get a Word document, get a Google Doc, type out your, your discussion forum post, and then copy and paste that into the forum, into your discussion post here. So that way it's not timing out, if that makes sense. And if you have questions, you can let me know. So yeah, those are the assignments for this week. Um, as far as the textbook activity and the writing prep goes, um, there will be a box that explains to upload a file. You can upload from your computer that file, and then it will allow you to save it and upload it into the Dropbox for those two assignments. If you have questions about that, you can email me or you should have like an online orientation link here under your classes. Um, should be on there as a student and you can click that to learn more about how to upload an assignment if you have questions there. But uh, I tried to make this a shorter video, but like I said, um, there was a lot to talk about this first week. So I'll end it here. Uh, if you've not watched the introduction video, it's gonna be posted right here soon. I'm uploading it right now. Um, otherwise, if you have any questions, please let me know. But have a wonderful first week of class, everybody, and I look forward to seeing your discussion forum posts and seeing your topics for the cause and effect paper. So have a great week, everybody, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.